So today in the mail, I got an unexpected surprise, and I'm very excited to show you guys what it is. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to Shane's Craft Beer Review. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I, I got up today, uh, I was out, uh, I took my youngest boy out fishing for a little while, and when I came home, there was a package sitting on my doorstep. And I know that I had not ordered anything in a while, so I know it was nothing that, um, that I had done. So I opened up this package, and it didn't say where it was from, that's the best part, so I don't know how he hit it. Um, but I opened up this package, and inside was this amazing, actually there was two of them, one for me, one for my wife, uh, this amazing, Rod J Beer Ventures Beer Mug. And on the back it says 2024 BrewTubers Get Together Special Edition Glass. Really, really awesome. Thank you so much, Rod J. Um, I don't have any of your merchandise, so I'm I'm very excited to have this. I actually have something that's got your name on it. Um, most other guys I have like their t-shirts or stuff like that. Uh, but very, very excited to have this. Thank you very much for supplying this to me, sir. Um, I will be using it in today's video. So uh, today's beer also uh, is a beer that I got from the uh, 2024 uh, BrewTubers Get Together here in Niagara Falls that I hosted a little while ago. Um, and this, uh, this is something I haven't had, uh, this style of beer. I haven't had this in quite a while. Uh, so this is a Pog beer, P-O-G. Yeah, not that game that the kids played in the 90s with the milk cap things and the big metal slammer things. No, no, no. I'm talking about a Pog beer, passion fruit, orange, and guava yeah it's been quite a while probably at least a year year and a half since the last time i had a pog beer um so this one is called pog basement and this is from the scofflaw brewing company out of atlanta georgia now scofflaw i am familiar with um when we had the very very first uh brew tubers get together way way back 2022 uh when it was hosted by brian the beer snob uh scofflaw was one of the breweries that we went to um, pretty cool little place. Um, they had a, I remember them having a huge TV outside. It was just massive, massive TV outside. Uh, those basketball courts. Uh, I don't think I have a picture of the TV, unfortunately. Uh, one of the other cool things, they had this like stuffed goat inside the brewery with like a leather jacket. And a, it, was, it was super cool. They're very unique. So yeah, so I am familiar with Scofflaw. So the Pog Basement uh, is a fruited IPA uh, and it comes in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. 45 IBU. That's right, baby. So let's get this in this beautiful, beautiful Rod J Beer Ventures special edition glass. That's right, special edition. Don't we often get a special edition glass. You don't often get a glass from Rod J, that's for sure. But I am excited as hell to have this. I don't. I usually don't get a whole really excited about glassware. Um, but uh, between, I mean, the only other glass I think that I've ever got excited about is the glass I got from the Alchemist when I was down there in Vermont last year. I was excited about that because that was such a great, great brewery. Um, but yeah, this one's just, this is just a sexy glass. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So let's take a look at the color here. Um, as usual, much darker on camera. It's actually much lighter um, than it shows up on camera. Uh, this It's more of a... Um, like a light iced tea color. I know it kind of looks iced tea there, but much, much lighter. Just think of that color, just a lot lighter. Um, yeah, so all right, let's get a little nose on this here, guys. Yeah, definitely getting it. Getting the passion, the passion fruit, the orange, and just a hint of that guava in there. I'm probably gonna like this. Um, yeah, let, let's, let's get into it. Cheers, cheers to Rod for the glass. Cheers to Brian for hosting the very, very first uh, brew tubers get together many many years ago and of course for the beer because I know this came from Brian as well so cheers guys oh you know what easy easy drinking you got you're picking up you are picking up all three of those flavors in there they're none of, none of them are overpowering they're mixed in there really really nice It's just so easy to drink. So easy to drink. It's got just a great mofil, medium bodied, just nice. Like 
this is one of these ones you can sit and just drink all day long. Really, really nice. Not, not too. Fr I was, I was a little worried it was going to be a little bit too fruity. It's not. It's fruity enough to let you know there's some fruits in there. And as I'm sitting here looking at this glass right now, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but we have a whole bunch of little floaties in there. Just a couple. Just well, I shouldn't say a couple, but they're very, very small ones. There's a few. I don't mind floaties. They won't kill you. They're good for you. Just eat them. But yeah. Really, really nice beer. You know what? I do enjoy this. Again, I've had a couple of beers from Scofflaw before. It's been a couple of years since I've had one, obviously, because they're down in Atlanta. But I think if I'm going to rate this beer, I'm going to give this beer, you know what, 375. Solid beer. I would definitely drink it again. I actually think I have two of these in my fridge. So uh, I will definitely be enjoying it again. But anyway, once again, uh, Brian, thank you so much for the beer. I appreciate you, sir. And Rod J, I can't thank you enough for this sexy sexy rod j beer ranchers glass anyway guys thank you all so much for watching we'll see you next time